Hello, Gollops and Bros. This week, Chris Tensei's mustache, we talk about the bone shaker, and then we tell you about our three favorite movie scenes with beer. It's actually great, yeah? Boom! Nailed it. All right, so this week, a beer from Amsterdam Brewing Company. In that, Toronto. It's actually not in Amsterdam. It's not in, Toronto, not in Amsterdam. Right? It's it's not the city across the ocean. It's actually here in the province. Um, depending on where you are, it's across the lake. Yeah, depending from where you are, or it might be just a drive away. I mean, all roads lead to Rome or Toronto in this case. Um, yeah. It's the Bone Shaker, okay? Bone it's an IPA. Shaker IPA. I've been seeing a couple things on the, on, on the interwebs about this beer. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. And I've, we'll I'm see. really excited to test this beer because we 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 are advertising guys. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't, we, doesn't show, but we are. Doesn't show. But <laughs> we heard a lot about this IPA because of the advertising campaign that was uh, rounded up around this beer. Uh, they won prices and everything, so it's something that yeah. has like yeah, 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 exactly. We, we really kind of, we associate to it. We see it. We're like, oh, that's interesting. That's awesome to do something for this. They did something yeah. awesome with it, so yeah. uh, that's why we're testing it today. Bone shake. Unfiltered, just like you. Bone Shaker, the IPA cometh. Bone Shaker, if you don't drink it, someone else will. I've got to say, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. It's up to the to what they're saying about it. It's a strong grapefruit IPA, uh, and this is what you smell first. Yeah, right? well, the grapefruit, immediately, the floral, citrusy, grapefruity smells. It just punches your oh, nose, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really explosive, you get a little bit of citrus at the same time too. Uh, nice blonde uh, beer, right? not blonde, reddish, it's the perfect color for an IPA, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, it's the IPA traditional like, color, it's unfiltered, so you should probably say it's unfiltered. It's unfiltered yeah. at the same time too, it's 7.1% uh, alcohol per volume, it's strong, but you don't taste it, right? No. So it's... I'd say it's a it's a dangerous IPA right here because you don't taste the strongness of the alcohol in it and um, you get on the tongue nice bitterness. Yes, yeah. all great. It's fruits. very nice. It's not too explosive. It's it's well balanced. It's really well balanced because you get one type of bitterness inside, and it's yeah. the grapefruit bitterness that yeah. you get inside. Uh, sometimes you get too much blend of tropical fruits inside, and you get lost in the bitterness. This one really gets to the point. And it's getting you uh, like yeah. thirsty, right? So uh, I've been drinking the whole video. I can't stop. Yeah, we can't stop. We have two <laughs> cans open up. We're already at our fourth. Yeah. <laughs> he meant fourth. <laughs> I fucked up too. You fucked up too. Speaking of fucked up. <laughs> All right, so movie scenes. I'm a big fan of Quentin Tarantino, okay? He's one of my favorite director, producer, movie maker, okay? I've got a bunch of people I love. Quentin Tarantino, it's the first movie where I saw and I was like, wow, this moved me in a lot of different ways. Anyways, one thing I love about movies like that, it's the beer in the movies. Yeah. Yeah. The accent, the detail, everything that's putting up about the beer. Yeah. It's straight up getting you to somewhere, exactly. right? Well, I mean, again, we're beer drinkers, so we kind of associate with the whole, like, a scene being made while someone's having a beer and enjoying it, okay? Exactly. So here's our three movies that we picked that scenes we love. There we go. Let's do it. All right, so the first movie we've got for you, Django Unchained, okay? The yep. scene where they're in a the saloon, they're enjoying a beer, and someone, a character's having a life-changing event there, and it's just all enjoyed around... A beer. A cold delicious beer. Yeah. And the thing I love about that scene is that Quentin loved the, the shot. The yeah, pouring the, shot. The, the pouring shot. That's beer pouring right there. Yes. Let's yes. show it. Let's show it right now. Boom. What kind of dentist are you? <laughs> Despite that cart, I haven't practiced dentistry in five years. And not only that, but the fact that he was so interested in the interactions of the characters that he didn't care the fact that the beer was going up and down in the scenes. Okay, if you pay attention, you see it's not equal. They're taking a sip and it's half full, now it's empty, and it's just interesting that it was just... He loved the interaction, he just couldn't uh, reshoot it. 
if you check our videos, you can see pretty much the same thing with the beers. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Number two, I've talked a lot today, I so did. I'm speaking for this number two, and uh, actually, it's a movie that really get me straight up to the heart, and it's a movie that Max suggested to me, and it's Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy, and it's the like the introduction scene when you get to know the boat uh, main both the main characters, basically. main characters, yeah. uh, they're in the pub drinking a beer, and everything happens right <laughs> when they yeah. they drink this beer, and it. The movie kicks off on a beer, so it's British no beer. movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No beer, no movie, right? <laughs> exactly. No beer, no movie. <laughs> Let's show the tape. Foreman, six pints of bitter and quickly. The world's about to end. Six points coming up. Keep the change. We got about ten minutes to spend it. It's three pints each at lunchtime. The, the whole movie build up on this yeah, specific this moment because scene they where they need and they create yeah exactly um, yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, can't, I can't say anything else <laughs> it, it, it's, it's fucking perfect yeah um, speaking of British movies or British actors and all that stuff Shaun of the Dead okay one of my personal favorite movies number ever, three okay? if you follow up a number, yeah number three Simon Pegg he makes great movies okay but that scene where he explains the entire plot of the movie, what's gonna happen inside of a breath, is just phenomenal. Okay, let's just play it. Let's just boom. Take car, go to Mum's, kill Phil, sorry, grab Liz, go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to blow over. How's that for a slice of fried gold? Yeah, boy! Yeah, and it's exactly, just it's perfect. I love it. It's just. At the end, and we'll we'll all wait till it all blows over. It is perfect. <laughs> Make, makes makes the whole movie just. It does. It really does. All right. So um, you have a favorite beer. We have favorite beers, uh, and we want to know which one is yours, and if we can review it. Let us know, and we'll we'll find it, and we'll yeah. review it, and, and we'll we'll enjoy it. It's more for us than you. We have uh, a lack of inspiration, so give us some. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you have the inspiration. And you know what to do next, Max. Where's the button? Uh, it's subscribe right over here. And last week beer review is right up like near me here. Nothing about my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.